we do have a seven o'clock appointment with Andy Morris Friedman. Right. It's not here yet. Andy's not going to be here. His no. father is on his deathbed. Oh, oh, yeah, so he's in New Jersey. So I represent the Friends of Lake Warner as the executive director. My name is Jason Johnson. Go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, uh, Are you a Hadley resident? Pardon me? Are you a Hadley resident? I'm not. No, but I am, and I can. He can tell me what I just want to know who we are. That's no. all I'm, you know, I'm just asking <laughs> where you live. Um, I live in Leeds. Leeds. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, we want to have a, a fair celebration in North Caledon Pond um, on the 16th of May um, in the field adjacent to North Abbey Hall. Uh, the Remax balloon is available for tethered balloon rides, which is just being anchored to four cars in the field area and going up and down for rides. Um, a small raffle for a kayak that we have that's available and free balloon rides. Every person that came would get a ticket. So everybody would have a chance to. It's a free balloon ride? You get a chance to get a free up balloon ride. Go for it. Go for it. They're going to send you up on a balloon. $10. They're going to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it's $10 for the tethered balloon. Oh, that's it? Nothing is in it to outer space. Okay. Yeah. So we won't be selling any food. We'll probably be giving away food. Barbecue and having a party, and then um, free canoe rides out on the from the boat ramp. All right. So, what have you um, done to contact the police and fire parking, all of that good stuff? What's on your agenda for that? Andy has been in, has been in charge of that and has contacted police. Um, we talked to, to David Nixon about it. Um, there's no board of health issues since we're not selling food. How about liability was. The balloon has liability insurance. And, and the lake raft rides or whatever. The, um, we don't, we weren't planning on carrying insurance for that. I hope no one falls in. Yeah. No. Do we, they're, do they're, we? they're there sort of at their own, at their own risk. At their own, their own peril. Yeah. And um, then the parking, what about parking? Parking is going to be tough as usual. I think they're just going to have to utilize what's available on the street. Are you going to have police up there to monitor the parking? I'm going to leave that up to Andy to coordinate. I, had, I, had, I think UMass may be having their graduation on that weekend also. So if that's the case, then things are going to be a little bit tied up in town. But um, I'm expecting an extraordinarily huge amount of people that we would be blocking traffic and taking up the space. So he did talk to the police chief? Yeah, so I, I asked Mr. Friedman to, Morris Friedman, to get in touch with the chief of police um, and uh, as well as the building inspector and advised him that on the food, and I hadn't heard anything and uh, any details on the food that maybe there would be a Board of Health permit. Uh, yeah, if we were selling food, I think we'd be required to have a Board of Health permit. And so right. We just, we're not going to sell food. Um, I also talked to the pilot of uh, the Remax balloon, and they understand the liability insurance. They'll be sending that along. I checked uh, with Park and Rec Department to find out if they had any scheduled programs for either the building or the grounds that day, and they assure me they don't. Yeah. Uh, so in terms of the, the kayak rides on the lake, the lake, the water of the lake is not actually owned by the town. Um, so the property insurance would cover any land-based accident. I don't know that there is any coverage for, water. for the water or even liability exposure for towns. Well, the people that own land around the pond own the pond. Um, no, they own the land under the yeah, pond. Yeah, they, um, the they own the land under the well, pond. The Kestrel it. Trust. It's theirs. The, the water is owned by the Kestrel Trust. Mm -hmm. And this is okay with Kestrel Trust, too? Yeah. Okay. And the purpose of this is to? To raise awareness about the restoration of the dam and restoring the pond and supporting our organization, which is dedicated to the so are you going to be soliciting donations? We will be soliciting donations. Yeah. And just FYI, it looks like May 8th is the undergraduate and graduate commencements. So May 9th is Stockbridge. 
So it would okay. be the procedure. Yeah, sure. Great. Well, do you think it's necessary to get a policeman to hire a policeman? That would to? be your discussion with the police chief. Okay. Yeah. It will be kind of interesting. It's very, will be very crowded. Yeah. Okay. I so. mean, I, I certainly don't have any issue with it. I think it's great if they want to do the fair. I just worry about making sure the town's liability. Um, the traffic well. Yeah, on both, both fronts. So is there a way to find out about the liability on the water, or is that something that, that uh, well, I'll, the I'll check. Need? I'll check with our insurance carrier, mm -hmm. but just to be sure, but I just I don't, don't think see it's our responsibility. Uh, I don't think it's ours either. Yeah. Can I ask a question? What happens if an ordinary person just goes out on a kayak on their own and falls in the water? It's their responsibility. And is this any different, really? I don't, I don't believe so. Well, be, only because that you're going to be using the town land for the, the balloon event. and the event itself. So, would it encompass mm -hmm. that is our question. So, we just want to be sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. It's not that we're against it, but we just need to absolutely cover yeah. ourselves on it. Well, let's stay in touch about it then, and mm -hmm. if we need to get a rider or, or some additional insurance. David will call the insurance company to see if mm -hmm. what's covered or not. Okay. Is there an expectation we take a vote on this tonight, or? I mean, we can uh, contingent. We can, we can I was going to say, either that or do it contingent yeah, upon. Either way. What do you want to do, Brian? Contingent is fine with me. Okay. Pretty so self-explanatory. We have a question from the audience. Yeah, two of them. <clears throat> One, uh, how are they going to get down from the playground to the pool uh, to the water? They'll have to go across Yusko's property. Uh, no, they're going to the no, boat ramp. Going to the boat ramp. Program. We're going. Oh, the the two rides are going ramp. down the street out of, out of the boat ramp. Okay. Yeah. And you do know that there's no parking at all on Meadow Street. Right. Yeah. Okay. This would just be a longer 47 long river drive. Okay. Because they, it's sometimes the church, which we don't mind because it's a church, they put cars on both sides. Sure. It's very tight going down the street. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we should be able to use the church parking lot as well as some of our other organizations that's going on at the same time. Okay. Asparagus speed at some point. Mm -hmm. All right, do we want to yeah, do anything? What? Do we want to do anything? First of all, make it a motion Go contingent. Okay. Uh, make a motion to approve the Friends of Lake Warner holding a community fair at the North Hadley Hall lot, I guess is the best way to put it, on May 16th, um, contingent upon favorable conversation between um, town administrator and our insurance carrier relative to any potential liability issues that could inure to the town. Police chief. And also um, relative to a favorable conversation with the chief of police. Second. Any more discussion? Just a quick question. I, I don't think we talked about the hours of operation of the fair. Right, I think it's probably four to eight. If the floor is five to eight, five. I guess we'll be setting up. Yeah, we'll be setting up. Five in the evening. Yeah. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Not five in the morning. No, not five in the morning. I'm a morning I'm person. Yes, yes, please. This is just a rough death. My, my printer, for some reason, will not do color, but I have to do this from PM. You want to give that to Richard? Uh, yes. Did you give one to Richard so he can put it on TV? I or you want to wait until you get a final one? This is a rough draft, you said, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Well, it, it, there's a really nice one in color, but that kind of gives you the basics. Well, if you want, you can get one to Richard when you get. I'll put it on the table. We'll put it on We can, yeah. Andy, Andy has his contact information. Yeah. Okay. And we can, as soon as Andy gets back into town, we can publicize this. Yeah, that's okay. okay, good. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for coming. Thank you for and our best to uh, Andy. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to hear. <laughs>